5 Things You Need To Know About Losing Weight After 40 Wondering why the same tried and true tricks you used to lose weight back in your teens and 20s no longer work after 40? From a biological point of view, the answer is pretty simple. Why is this? Our body composition, dietary needs, and hormones all shift, beginning for some as early as the mid-30s. In order to maintain a healthy weight, certain lifestyle habits must be developed to counteract those changes. Here are 5 things you need to know about losing weight after 40. If you're eating the same amount of food you did 10 years ago, you are consuming too many calories. Beginning in your 30s, you will lose about 1% of your lean muscle mass every year in a natural process called sarcopenia. This process accelerates when you reach your 40s. The amount of lean muscle mass you have directly influences the speed of your metabolism, as muscle burns more calories than fat. This includes the calories that you burn not only when you are active, but also while you are at rest. Knowing this, it is important to make healthy food choices that will fill you up on fewer calories and to engage in activities to preserve and build up muscle mass. Many of my patients who have trouble losing weight describe a fitness routine that emphasizes running, biking, and aerobic training. While cardiovascular exercises are an important part of an active and healthy lifestyle, they do little to build up your lean muscle mass. Cardio exercises are excellent choices for heart health, fighting fatigue, reducing stress, and promoting better sleep. But cardio exercises burn not only fat but muscle as well, further compromising the metabolism. Simply cutting back on calories usually isn't an effective weight loss technique. We need to not only cut back on calories, but also to make sure we are choosing the right types of calories. Lean protein sources such as fish, lean meats, eggs, and tofu feed and preserve our muscle mass keep us feeling full longer than other foods and keep the blood sugar steady, preventing the energy spikes and lows that can lead to overeating. Build your meals around protein sources and include a variety of fresh produce and small amounts of whole grains so that meals are balanced and healthy. Cut back on or eliminate empty calories that do not provide your body with nourishment but do contribute to weight gain, such as white bread, white pasta, and added sugars. Evolution is a slow and gradual process. Since the typical modern diet does not resemble the diet humans have followed for the majority of history. Our metabolisms are designed to work best on a feast or famine schedule. Our bodies store fat when food is plentiful, and burn it off in times of scarcity. Since most Americans do not experience periods of fasting, we retain that body fat and gain weight. Because of this intermittent fasting is a very effective way to lose weight. Not only will our bodies burn off fat stores while we fast, but fasting has also been shown to reduce inflammation in the body, speed up metabolism, reduce blood pressure, and lower risks for type 2 diabetes. Every process our bodies perform relies on adequate sleep. Our muscles are repaired while we sleep. And our hunger and satiety hormones also come into balance as we snooze. During sleep, the hormones that the metabolism relies on are regulated, we recover from the day's stresses. And the parts of our brain responsible for memory building and rational decision making are restored. Thank you for watching. 